Hi, my name is Lauren. Um, I do sales and architectural design at Ceres, and we're here with one of our um, growers, Nadine. Um, and we'd just love for you to introduce yourself, tell us where where we are, and yeah. Sure. Um, hi, and welcome to my greenhouse. Uh, we're in Colorado at about 6,000 feet. Um, we're in zone 5B, and it's a fairly arid climate here. So, um, not in the greenhouse, though. <laughs> in the greenhouse, we it's just wonderful that we can control all of the climate in here. So, how do you maintain um, temperatures within this greenhouse really throughout the seasons? Great question. Mm -hmm. um, there is, obviously with all series greenhouses, there's the option for the GAT system. Mm -hmm. um, definitely recommend it so mm -hmm. you can, well, maybe you can't see it. It is very invisible if you're not looking for it. Um, mm -hmm. So there are two um, intakes on this side and one is at two feet below the ground and the other one is at four feet below the ground. Um, I'm sorry, those are the intakes and these are the outtakes. Yeah. And, um, and they definitely help to mediate the temperatures in here. Mm -hmm. In the winter, I'd say our lows are in the 40s um, mm -hmm. all winter, consistently all winter. Mm -hmm. um, the only, I've used supplemental heating maybe three or four nights, and that's really when it's gotten to be like negative 10, negative 15 mm. for like three days. In Colorado, we have so much wonderful sun mm -hmm. that as long as the sun's shining, I won't yeah. need supplemental heat at night. It's when mm -hmm. we have a day or two of snow or clouds um, that we do need supplemental heat, but that really isn't for the figs it's, mm -hmm. it was really for the tomato plants um mm. i don't know what i'll do this winter we'll see maybe for the peppers but the fig trees can definitely take the freezing temperatures oh that's wonderful yeah